It looks like Daniel Rawlings is still upset about that Kill Tony episode where he got roasted by an amateur comedian so bad that he got upset and left the stage. It was one of the funniest things I've seen on Kill Tony. If you haven't watched this episode, you should check it out. I'll leave a link in the description, but I'll play some of the best parts in a sec. First, there's a Facebook post circling from someone who attended a show at the Mothership Club. They said that during Tony Hinchcliffe's set, Donnell interrupted and started yelling at Tony. The post reads that Donnell said, F you, fuck your fans, you all made my life hell this past two years and won't let it go. That's all I gotta say. Fuck you, Tony. Strong words from Donnell, right? During this, Tony was apparently on his knees laughing. The next part reads that Tony explained the situation to the audience and said he hadn't spoken to Donnell since the incident happened on that episode. Now, my initial thought reading this was Donnell is probably joking, but what makes it sound more serious is that last part where Tony says he hasn't spoken to Donnell since that episode. Plus, if you've seen the episode, Donnell came out looking really bad. I'm sure he, he thinks about it every now and again and is still embarrassed. Just saying, how do you know That's one, temperature good. checks up here? That's one. Oh, you're counting, you're counting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What? You count too? Yeah. Nigga, I'm on your team, nigga. I know, man. I love you, but I hate you because I'm a Wu Tang fan, so. Oh, I, just been, I was over there waiting. I was like, I was like if he comes at me, I'm going to be Yo, get kinda this ready. fat Krispy Kreme. Let's donut. go. Get the fuck Let's out of go. here. Let's go. Get the fuck out of here with them corny ass jokes. Go back to Iowa, nigga. Did you you uh, have no career. You travel for a minute, nigga. Look, a minute. I used to. I used to blame you white people for this. You traveled a whole this. minute. You know who I blame? Yo, how you gonna do this to a me, A minute. Son? A minute why, is why the same distance. This motherfucker got mom and dad G's on the same fucking stage. <laughs> if you don't get the fuck out of here, where'd you get those Jordans before or after Chappelle gave you that chain? <laughs> <laughs> I will say this. Yes, I'm here Don't for it, my nigga. Yeah, I'm this here is for a golden it. Guess what? Winner. Guess what? You will never. You know the reason why you won't never get this change? Cause I'm rich, bitch. I know it. I know it. That shit was jamming. I can't believe in, you. This in, was so in, fucked up. In, in I showed you Listen, love. because you, I said no, one, no, and then he no. instigated it. Blame him, black not on me. Black crime. Black. <laughs> I can't believe you. My goodness. And I was supporting you just on black, not because you was funny, because I didn't hear none of that. Oh, oh come on! They did, and that's all his that matters. Set, his set you don't hear a lot of shit because you, oh, you always on. talking. Tony, you don't what hear you mean, nothing. Oh, come on, that shit was funny. He, I mean, they that, left. Possums are pretty ugly. Yeah, I, I got something it. funny. You look like uh, <laughs> Idris Elba fucked the blowfish. <laughs> I tried to warn that's you. That's funny that, too. That's fact, too funny. You got your laughing the right. Fact, the fact, Don't let him tell you what's funny. Fact that I even little loud look ass like, nigga. The fact that I even I look know how like, it goes. The fact that I even look like Idris Elba is five thousand faces from where you are right now. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> how the fuck a nigga got diabetes thirty two? How you got crack diabetes? Done out. Donnell, I'm serious. I, know I don't want to hear it. That's so fucking hurting me right now. I know for a fact this guy works out. He runs the jewels. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga shop for tank tops in Victoria's Secret, nigga. I, I get my tank you tops You got spanks on right casual now. Casual male XL. You have titties. I know I do. You probably... You have titties. You probably want to suck him, you little... You breast... <laughs> You breastfeed Charlemagne the God, nigga. If we was in jail, I'd have you sucking them, you little, no, 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 you little nigga. juvenile delinquent grown what? man. That was legendary. Uh, the reaction says it all, right? First of all, isn't it a little cringe that Donnell Rawlings is walking around with a Dave Chappelle chain? The amateur comedian is called Alamine, and I'm sure Donnell will never forget that name. This guy went in on Donnell. Where'd you get those Jordans before or after Chappelle gave you that chain? Donnell's comebacks kind of fell flat. He bombed again and again. When he isn't able to think of a good line, he just shouts over the other guy to drown him out. <laughs> He at one point says Allo isn't funny, but you could hear the laughter from the audience. I think that Donnell was trying to convince himself that this just wasn't happening. His first response is, the reason you'll never get this chain is because I'm rich, which is a famous line from the Dave Chappelle show, but makes no sense in this context. He goes back and forth between bad jokes and then saying, why did you turn on me? <laughs> This. You came at me. I was showing you love. I, you I love you, but I hate you, nah, man. Nah, nigga, you ain't got to hate me. Beat it. Because of the RZA shit. I'm kind of mad about what it. Is it? What is it? Well, huh? Donnell famously I interrupted know, wait, wait. on a I, podcast with the RZA. Right. So. Right. Yes, guess what I did. And you might not understand this. 
then there's even a more cringe part where Alamine says, I love you, but I hate you because of the RZA interview. Donnell and RZA from the Wu-Tang Clan were both on Rogan and Donnell basically kept interrupting RZA the whole time. So Donnell tries to defend the episode by going into a five minute long story about why he kept interrupting RZA. The story bombed. It felt boring and incoherent and... Basically, the gist of it was he was high. That, that was it. During the monologue, Red Band kept adding sound effects, which annoyed Donnell even more. After Alamine leaves the stage, Donnell is visibly livid. You can see it on him. He's just looking down at his phone. He says something to Hinchcliffe and then gets up and leaves. Guys, you saw it. That's a real golden ticket winner. One of only seven in the world. How about a big hand for Alamine, huh? Still selling those candles? You still selling the candles? Yeah, he's got, I have the candles. They are unbelievable. Holy shit, this is really happening. All right, let's get right into it. Even though Donnell has had an overall successful career in comedy, unfortunately, a lot of people still think of him as Dave Chappelle's sidekick. And that's why that joke cuts so deep. A lot of people also find him kind of annoying. I feel like whenever I've seen him on a podcast, he's interrupting people and talking over them. You'll notice in the comments section, there'll be a lot of people complaining about Donnell. He's a loud guy. Here he is earlier in the same episode where he's making noises while Tony Hinchcliffe is talking. These people usually <laughs> used to go to Los Angeles. <laughs> they would show up in LA at the comedy store to, <laughs> to cash in. And we're about to, okay. Yeah, go! He can't seem to go more than a minute without hearing his own voice. I remember watching him on Rogan when he was on with Dave Chappelle and it was a long episode, it was three hours. And you can tell by the end of it that Rogan had lost his patience with Donnell. Now, after this episode, the interaction between him and Aloe blew up online and it looked bad for Donnell. But if he would have just stayed for the rest of the show, I don't think it would have been a big deal. But to walk out after obviously getting upset, you know, it kind of killed the mood and overshadowed the rest of the show. So definitely a low point in Donnell's career. He eventually addressed it on his own podcast and you can see that he's a little salty about the whole thing. Somebody said, Donnell, you wouldn't be anything without the Chappelle show. And do you know what I say to you motherfuckers? That the Chappelle show wouldn't have been anything without me. Ooh. And I'm not heck. saying that in no crazy way. To win a championship, and I'm not saying it cocky, you have to have the right team players. True. I know he said he wasn't being cocky, but to say the Dave Chappelle show wouldn't be shit without him, without Donnell, that is delusional, right? I'm sorry, it just is, I have to be honest. On the one hand, I feel bad for him. It can't be easy to constantly being told you're riding someone else's coattails, but with him walking off stage after not being able to take a roast, lets me know that he takes himself way too seriously. He could have just laughed it off. He's a comedian, this should be a walk in the park. He didn't like that a no-name comedian was able to destroy him in front of two other comics and a live audience. As for the recent outburst, I'm not 100% sure he's serious, but I wouldn't be surprised if he was. I think he got trolled online a lot after this, but when he walked off stage, he kind of put a target on his back for the trolls. So I think he's very much still pissed about it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, if you enjoyed this, hit the like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.